Isn't It Romantic stars Rebel Wilson as a woman who despises romantic comedies because of how unrealistic they are and because they make people believe in false ideas of love and romance. One day she hits her head and then wakes up in the world of a PG-13 rated romantic comedy. This movie tries to position itself as kind of the scream for rom-coms. It tries to make fun of the conventions and tropes of the romantic comedy while also still trying to be a good romantic comedy. But this movie has nowhere near the comedy or smarts to be held in the same regard as something like Scream. It's just not funny at all. These are just the same jokes that people have been making about rom-coms for years. Yeah, kissing in the rain and rushing to your significant other on the other side of town is unrealistic. Wow. So smart. Honestly, I feel like romantic comedies that say that romantic comedies are cliche and predictable have essentially become like the girl in the movie who says, I'm not like other girls. It is now its own cliche and it's getting really annoying. You saying that romantic comedies are predictable and cliche is nothing special. It's a tired joke. And this movie is just that joke over and over and over again. There may be a running gag or a line here or there that's funny, but most of the comedy of this movie doesn't land just because the jokes are so tired. And that's when there are jokes in this movie. The comedy of this movie is just pointing out a genre trope and then moving on. That isn't funny. What makes a teardown of a genre or a parody or satire work is when you set up the cliche and then you subvert it or over-exaggerate it. To compare this to a movie that tries to do the same thing in tearing down the ideals of romance that are set up by society and pop culture, 500 Days of Summer does this, but in a way that actually works. For example, both of the movies make the joke that the big dance number in the middle of the city is ridiculous and unrealistic. Isn't it romantic, has that musical number, and then moves on. What makes the joke work in 500 Days of Summer as opposed to this movie is that in 500 Days of Summer, the joke is that it cuts immediately from the dance number to Joel being miserable months later coming out of the same elevator that he originally sprung out of singing Hall & Oates. What's great about a movie like 500 Days of Summer is that it subverts the genre at every turn by setting up the concept of expectation versus reality. What makes the comedy of 500 Days of Summer work is that it sets up Joel's expectations and then completely undermines them with reality. The problem with Isn't It Romantic is that it's only expectation. It gives you the setup for the joke, but it never delivers a satisfying punchline. And if its goal was to be outright parody, it's never outrageous or over-exaggerated enough to be compared to anything like Walk Hard, Airplane, or Blazing Saddles. Another thing this movie doesn't really understand about what makes those parodies so great is that they're not just jokes about the genre. They are also funny on their own terms and create their own iconic lines and jokes outside of what they're saying about certain genres. Like, Don't Call Me Shirley doesn't have anything to do with making fun of disaster movies. It's insane to me that a comedy that is this one note and lazy is making fun of an entire genre for being cliche. So if it isn't funny, that leaves it to the other elements of the movie to carry this through. And none of those are strong enough to do that. The main character, Natalie, was pretty unlikable right off the bat for me. She would have been fine, except for this one scene at the beginning where she just berates her friend for like three hours for liking romantic comedies. And she just points out all the cliches and the tropes and all the problems she has with them and how unrealistic they are and blah, 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 and it's, it fucking sucks. No one likes to hear about how wrong they are for liking something for three hours. That is a horrible thing to do to someone. Now you might say, Brendan, aren't you being kind of hypocritical considering that you've been trash talking this movie for the entirety of the review? Here's the difference. I'm not telling someone how wrong they are for liking this movie if they liked it. If you like this movie, I am so happy for you. I'm glad you got enjoyment out of it. I want everyone to like any movie they see. That's the whole point. That's why I went to go see this movie, is because I wanted to like it. It's just that I didn't. And I get that they're trying to develop that Natalie hates rom-coms, but you can do it in a way where she's not an asshole to her friend who she never apologizes to. And I get that that's a little detail, and it's just something that might only pertain to me, but like, it's a three minute scene of someone going, um, actually romantic comedies are bad because of this. And nobody likes that person. And what's unfortunate is that this movie is that person. All it does is just like, ha, look at how bad these things in romantic comedies are. Isn't that so funny? Isn't that, doesn't that make me super relatable for saying that? And it doesn't make it relatable. 
and that translates through to the main character of the movie. And she just never did anything interesting enough for me to care about her, the relationship she was in, or her journey to get out of this world. By the way, before I forget, because I, I want to talk about it, because the way she's used is terrible, the friend who loves romantic comedies should have been a much bigger part of this movie. She should have been the Jamie Kennedy character from Scream, where she knows about all these tropes and knows about romantic comedies and can guide the main character through the story. But instead, they just kind of throw her away and use her as a dumb Devil Wears Prada reference. The other characters are pretty weak. Like, everything else in this movie, they are just there to point out the trope and then move on. It's another setup with no punchline. The story itself is just another generic, predictable rom-com that you can see coming once you see the pieces set in motion, but it doesn't play with that idea in any meaningful way. It's frustrating because a movie like this could have been really special, but it never does anything smart or creative enough to justify taking aim at the genre that it's making fun of. I give Isn't It Romantic a one out of five. Absolute garbage, it's not funny, does nothing new or creative or interesting. It's an absolute slog of a movie that I wish would have done something more when it played with the genre, and it just doesn't do anything like that. So, what did you guys think of Isn't It Romantic? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, follow me on my Twitter and Instagram accounts, which I'll have the link for those down in the description. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.